What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to episode 39 of the Las Vegas Raiders franchise mode. Here we have a big doubleheader, week 14 at home against the Steelers. Week 15 at home against the Titans. The Steelers, this is probably, along I think with the Jacksonville Jaguars, gonna be our toughest matchup. The close of the season, but we're eight, three and one. We have a tie that separates us as being the top dog in the AFC West. And I actually just made a roster move. We had a free spot. So what I decided to do was maybe, just maybe get our next John Ross. I, you know, I don't doubt it. I, I don't know. But DJ Chark was chilling. 6'4", 94 speed of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I went, you know what? Why not? He, you know, if we get some injuries or stuff down the stretch, knock on wood if you're with me. But, you know, we had some injuries. We lost John Ross week 17. And, we, you know, we had to find other guys to come up, step up, elevate their game. So I think I just having Chark on the roster, it's just nice security blanket even though we know we're probably unlikely to re-sign him, but it will be interesting to see how he feels and fits out there, especially with John Ross and C.D. Lamb. So we have a big game here up against the 7-5 Pittsburgh Steelers to kick off the episode. When you look at the Steelers, man, it's just all these big-name teams, generally speaking, aren't nearly as strong as our Raiders team. They got Juju Smith-Schuster as the superstar X-Factor, David DeCastro, who's you know one of the best interior offensive linemen in the league, I think top two, top three. TJ Watts, mean De Devin Bush has an enforcer, so you know they got they got some they got some good players. They're an 85 overall, so you know you look at the name value. We beat the Seahawks, we beat the we beat the Rams, but like these teams here, what the, saying the Seattle was an 80 overall, the Rams are an 81, like just. We're year four. A lot of these teams are drastically different than how you know, recognize them right now in real life. So the fact that the Steelers are an 85, I'm expecting this to be a little bit tougher than what we've been experiencing. I have modified the gameplay sliders just a little bit to make it more difficult for me while still not having this game be at a spot where it's just unplayable like it was uh, since the October patch. So we, you know, we, de we definitely decreased the past defense reaction time, the interceptions for the computer because linebackers are kind of starting to feel like super linebackers. But we have upped run blocking by five. We've upped the AI QB actually just a little bit, even though, you know, it doesn't really need to get fixed because more of the other computer, the AI computer, whatever you want to call it, quarterbacks are completing like well over 70% of their passes against me but i'm trying to hope maybe like there's the, the worst thing about sliders is that you're never able to fix play calling right nothing like up making quarterback actually 99 you still won't have any effect or, or same with pass blocking or catching over the plays that the computer calls the nonsensical runs just throwing it to the ground when even there's a guy wide out like just bad decision making you can't fix that in the sliders i wish you could but you can't all you can hope is that by playing on all madden you're gonna get you know, the best play calling available in Madden 20, and that's kind of where we're at. So without further ado, let's get into this game here against the Pittsburgh Steelers and try and get our ninth win of the season. The Third and one, they're bringing the blitz. They already feel like a much better defense than what we've been going up against, and they get the stop. Uh, not too often, Josh Jacobs doesn't come through. We'll punt it away. Oh, Cleveland Farrell's been insanely hot. Especially with Mohurst lining up across from David DeCastro. We're probably going to need Frill to get after Jacoby Bursett, who is now the man under center for Pittsburgh. And uh, starts it off hot. Gets his 10th sack of the season. Get off me, running back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come. Oh, make the tackle. Jesus. 80. I don't even know who that is. I got some. Is that Vance McDonald? Please don't say that's Vance McDonald. Who just beat us? Who's 81? Can I see a number? Oh, it's blurry. T uh, Zach Gentry, Michigan man. Okay. Just grind our way down the field. Four or five yard gains at a time for Josh Jacobs. Uh, now here in the red zone, and he fumbles it on the one yard line. It's gonna be one of them games, okay, okay, fine. Oh, come on, man. Are you telling me up in QB actually by like three points? Two, three points does this? Four, four for a buck 70? There you go, there you have it. There you have it, that's all you can say. There you have it. I guarantee people watch episode 38, it's like, oh, great, here we go. You know, 
Either you, you lose games and you suck, or you win games and you're playing on rookie, even though it's all not all bad. And now we're losing games. Hope you're happy. Oh, Josh Jacobs out the backfield. Big time Gator. Put us right at the red zone. All right, third and goal on the four. Any points would be good, but we desperately want a touchdown here. So we're going slants, cheese. But if someone wants to get open, that'd be phenomenal. And it is Hunter Renfro who's been become very reliable over the last couple weeks to pull the Raiders back within one touchdown. Oh, there you go. Mo Hurst, the first time he's not lined up on David DeCastro, gets a sack fumble. Come on. Deflected pass. I mean, how much more can you do about a deflected pass? You got to catch that. That's not on the QB. Makes things that much more difficult. Oh, yeah. score, As the Steelers That's have regained their two-score lead. Micah Parsons. Stay in Penn State. Now playing for the Steelers. It's a pick six. A pretty bad deflection from CD Lamb. Gotta come down with that. Oh, come on. What the fuck kind of route was that? C CD Lamb was at least staying there. Watching Trevor Lawrence scramble. And then he just decides, I'm just gonna start walking. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start going downfield. But in reality, he has to come back to the ball, and any competent wide receiver would come back to the ball, let alone a wide receiver that's a superstar X Factor and almost 90 overall. Look at this! Oh my god, 85! You're we gotta we gotta get a deep dive here, just to make sure that wasn't that wasn't a great pass, but that was more way more on the computer than it was on me. Watch this shit. Alright. So we got Trevor Lawrence here scrambling. Look, 85 just standing there, well ahead of the corner, right? We're trying to see if something will open downfield. But look, right now, clearly, he has about three yards. If he comes back to that ball, still standing there, and then as soon as we get ready to throw the ball, he just, oh, I'm gonna get a full-on sprint here. Yeah, full-on sprint, that's, ah! Whatever, get it over with. You get the win. You're gonna win before the first kickoff even happened. Let's get into the next week. And there you have it, a reality check loss. Sure as shit, dumbing down the uh, AI. We, we were at 35 for QB actually, bumped up to 38. We're not having this. So uh, maybe we'll find a middle ground. We'll start at 36, 37, work on that territory, but 38, I never, you couldn't have told me that that would drastically I don't know man it was and everything just felt weird the fumble on the one yard line the the bobble pick uh there's a lot of RNG into this game I felt like but anyway it's a reality check loss three picks on the day for Trevor Lawrence trying to force it it was a rainy game but we couldn't run the ball to save our life so we had to throw it um Redfro had an okay game eight catches 103 yards and a touchdown but that's checkdowns the only thing we complete were checkdowns our three big checkdown targets all had decent games didn't get one big play out of john ross didn't get one big play we could have maybe had an okay play from cd lamb but then for whatever reason his awareness went down to negative eight and uh it also ultimately led to an interception so um connor williams is garbage absolute horse shit. i might cut him in the like i might honestly just completely rebuild this offensive line regardless of what hit for the salary cap connor williams is terrible uh looks like rodney hudson's gonna be walking if we don't franchise tag him Trent Brown's walking, so you know, really, John Runyon, and we got we got Cole Schneider, our second round pick at a UCF, hidden dev trait, 75, 76 overall. Maybe build around them. I don't know. Uh, defensively, Van Der Esch has been out, was outstanding, 12 tackles, a TFL. We have a second half, Cleveland Furl, sack Mohers, half sack Hassan Riddick, no turnovers because he completed almost 90 percent of his passes. So there's our loss. Let's get in the next game. Two of the doubleheader, we got skunk. They're an 81. They don't have an AX factor. Byard's nice. Casey's fine. They're, we got to beat them, man. We got to bounce back in a big way, get that ninth victory of the season. I want to drop 40-some points on the Tennessee Titans. There we go. Big block by Chris Warren. I don't know how many Pro Bowls he's made now. That was awesome. Josh Jacobs get in. Like I said, man, this is going to be an ugly one. We're going in. We're going in. We're going to eat. I'm getting 40. Jacked up! Oh, that's just Kevin Baird got ran over by a freight train there. That's their best player on the defense side of the ball. 
I mean, he needs to check himself out of the game after that one. That was embarrassing. Let's get a replay of that because that is the juggernaut doing what he does best. Getting to the second level and just being disgusting. Oh, my God. Put him in concussion protocol. And there you go. Oh, you got whoever that is. I hope that's not Pat Pete. I don't think it's Pat Pete, but it might be Pat Pete. He old and slow. He can't keep it. I told you. The 40 bomb's coming. Oh, that's just... That's just... That's just too aggressive. We brought the all-out blitz. Middle of the field was open for John and Smith. And a little bit of a pulse here from the Tennessee Titans. Oh, and there's finally our defense. Step it up. Cleveland Furl. Been hot. As hot as anyone on the team. Gets a sack. Fourth and 17. Hopefully ended some of that Titans momentum. I think that's the third sack Connor Williams given up. And we're just over a quarter of play. Okay. Gotta stop blitzing. Titans are using our own aggressiveness, our own frustrations against us. Both touchdowns have come and we've gone all out blitz. No more. Ah, oh, there we go. We're there. We've been waiting for it. Sound the alarm. There's the Josh Jacobs injury. We've been waiting for all season long. It's only a bruised shoulder. Put in Jalen Rashard for now, but... Uh, perfect time. Right at the end of the season, too, when we really need him. All right, it's time for everyone's favorite play. Slants Cheese here. Third and goal on the four. Just don't want any turnovers. I feel like any points right now would be huge for our team. Renfro wide open across the middle. One of the most dangerous slot wide receivers in the league. If you regain the lead here. 21 to 14. Oh, there we go. Anytime our offensive line can hold up for like more than three seconds. John Rogers, CD Lamb. One of them's going to be open. So I really do think we could go undefeated if we didn't have Trent Williams and Connor Williams. Trent Brown and Connor Williams as our offensive line. That's a dart. That's beautiful. We already broke 1,000 yards today for CD Lamb. I think he's at like 1,030. Might get our second 1,000 yard receiver on the season with John Ross, given how he's dominating this game. Again, it's a rather slow secondary, even though they have Adore Jackson. They just can't match his speed right now. Mariota's slanging that thing right now. Not as good as Jacob Brissett, but he's been a monster. There's a huge, huge hit from Van Der Esch. Third and goal, but, you know, this, this has been a pretty impressive Tennessee Titan offense. I mean, Mariota is a guy, even though he's a backup quarterback in real life, in at least this Madden world and probably a lot of your guys, he's always in the top 10 MVP race. I don't know why, but, um, come on, let's go. Oh, get out of here with that. Third and goal, kick the field goal. What a terrible play call. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Watch 54. Watch 54. They gonna need some There we go. Finally, CD Lamb has come back to relevance. He's just too fast. He's too fast for you. Just too fast for you. And there's just 1,000 yards on the season. Oh, let's go! Trevor Lawrence, White Lightning, gets six touchdowns on the day. There's still a full quarter to play. This is a vengeance game right here for sure. And there's touchdown uh, number seven. There we go. And there's a revenge game in a half, a career day for Trevor Lawrence. John Ross was uncoverable. C.D. Lamb was uncoverable. Even though our offensive line was pretty bad, both tackles were terrible. Uh, we established, a, I mean, that was just utter dominance. And exactly the kind of bounce back game we needed after just a, everything that could go wrong did go wrong in game one against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But well, look at that for Trevor Lawrence. Only 60% completion percentage, but I don't care. We had more points than he had a completion percentage. 
but I'm fine with that because he got 545 passing yards, six touchdowns, no picks, plus a rushing touchdown. Josh Jacobs, 130 yards on the day. We got five for 162 and two for CeeDee Lamb, five for 273 and three for John Ross, 65 yards and a touchdown for Renfro as well. As you can see, three sack, four sacks given up by the, uh, you know, familiar suspects. Uh, great game from Vernon Hargraves. Eight tackles, two TFLs, had a pick. So we start to sim it out at the end there. Two sacks, Cleveland Furl, one for Gallimore, one for Riddick. We got three TFLs from the monster, the machine, Maurice Hurst. Uh, Hargraves and Abram both had interceptions on the day as we drop the 60 bomb on the Tennessee Titans. So that will do it for our doubleheader of dominant performance week 15. Trevor Lawrence is your AFC Offensive Player of the Week with that seven touchdown performance. Even getting sacked five times. I feel like that's all. I mean, look, hey, Jimmy Garoppolo actually had uh, got, a, got a lot of pressure in his face as well. But that is an outstanding performance. Seven touchdowns. I don't think there's six from I don't I think that's the most touchdown scored by a quarterback this year. There's a couple six bombs there. Let's see here. Just to make sure that that was the most dominant performance that we've seen so far. Um, six tutties. Anyone beating six? Four for Lamar. Six touchdowns. Not seeing six. I'm not seeing seven for sure. Shit. Not seeing seven. Five for there for Mahomes. So there you go. The most dominant offensive performance of the season. And it came at a time that we desperately needed a victory to maintain pace with the Chargers. Make sure we get that AFC West. Nine, four, and one are your Raiders. As we wrap this episode up, we got one more regular season, episode 40. It's going to be dropping next Tuesday, week 16, week 17. Definitely want to win both those games. For sure, I guess the Denver Broncos, a team that we've owned in this whole series. But uh, you never know, man. They, they can always get that bipolar game where, the, where just everything that can go wrong will go wrong that we saw against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But hopefully our luck, uh, or maybe, actually, if we can get that one out of the way now in the regular season so we don't have to deal with that in the divisional round or anything stupid like that, that would be phenomenal. But uh, that does it for here today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. As always, smash the like button. Likes help my videos a lot. If we can break, you know, 1,000, 1,500, somewhere in that range, that would be insane. Subscribe if it's your first time stopping by. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping. You talking that shit when you talking and talking. Look at my options, look at me dropping. Ass in the game, like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me, not never. I mean, I mean, I never, I'm way too clever. clever. Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent, I'm doing it big. Way too persistent on taking.